you know, numbing and dissociation and distancing, this has actually been a particular research interest of mine um, because in some cases it can be protective. So in some cases, seeking psychological distance or going through some numbing, it helps us get through um, a difficult event. Hmm. I think right now what is happening is that we're very much in the middle of this. This is not over. This is still ongoing. And it's very difficult to stop and acknowledge and process when it is still happening. It's almost, um, it's almost, uh, um, psychologically impossible to truly process and absorb this without hindsight, without some distance. So I think that the psychological numbing and the distancing right now um, isn't necessarily maybe a bad, I say a bad, a bad thing. Hmm. Um, it can, it can provide a buffer. It can help us um, get through a very uh, um, demanding time. And then when we have the space, we might go back and start to process. Now, that isn't to say we should distance and numb ourselves right now, but just to say it, it isn't necessarily a bad, always a bad thing or precondition for adverse mental health down the line. Mm-hmm.